All right, man, I'm really excited to show you guys this uh, luxury waterfront home here behind me. It's uh, located in Northwest Cape Coral. Uh, this location is one of the best areas, I think, in my opinion, at Cape Coral. Uh, you know, we've, we're real close to three or four different parks. You've got the Burnstore Boat Ramp. They're going to be building a, 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 like a Tiki Hut restaurant there with some water slips. and a big pool. Uh, That's going to be nice, and that's real close to here if you do Airbnb stuff. Uh, we've got the, the Cetus. See, this road is right off the Serena Vista Park, which is right there on It's a waterfront park where uh, you can walk around and take a look at the water and this little track and stuff right there. We've also got Jim Jeffers Park for the kids if they want to play soccer, or play basketball. There's a tennis court there. And then uh, Joe Stonis Park. In Joe Stonis Park, there's uh, pickleball and another little running track. So we've got a lot of nice things in this neighborhood. I'm just going to take a quick peek around. We're like 25 minutes from the, the Bonagorda Airport. We're five minutes from five minutes from Publix. You got Walgreens. It's uh, it's a nice nice location. Nice area. We got these uh, bike paths right here on the road on Embers Parkway. This is in between Burnt Store Road and Old Burnt Store Road. So uh, I'm real excited to show you this property. This is listed by Julie Brown. She's she's from EXP Realty. She's letting us go through this one. Uh, so let's let's take a look. I'm real excited to show it to you. So this is a Tracy Homes. Um, beautiful landscaping, and they they've added some extra pavers here on the on the driveway. We've got an extra cul-de-sac right here. It costs more money to build in a, a circle driveway, but it's uh, it's nice to have that extra area for another car or something so they've they've upgraded the landscaping here on this home they got a triple adonidia palm here in the front aspen crotons uh, adonidia or christmas tree palm they call it so we'll, we'll come over here they've got a floritam lawn with a sprinkler system tile roof they've upgraded the garage door if you'll notice there's this is an extra tall garage door so if you got a tall truck or something, this home would be perfect. So you got you got some more landscaping over here. This is a pygmy date palm with, with crotons and a little walkway going around the side of the garage door, which is nice. This is 3317 Embers Parkway West, Cape Coral, Florida. This is in the northwest of Cape Coral. And let's walk, walk over here. Take a look at this front entry. It's a nice design, I think. I like it. I like these pavers. They did a nice job here with the double French doors. These are all hurricane rated windows and doors. And there's a lot of windows in the front, so it'll be uh, nice and bright inside. All right, well, let's go inside and take a look here at the front entry. So we walk up, you got some canned lighting up in the soffit and the eaves can lighting in the front entryway and uh, come on let's go take a look inside I'm real excited to show this to you first thing you notice here is the uh, tall ceilings big tall ceilings tray ceilings with can lighting a double step tray with crown molding big ceiling fans <clears throat> nice we got big Big open floor plan here. This is nice. Here, let's just step back and take a look at this. You got, it's like a plank tile here throughout this whole home. Some of the upgrades I see are the five and a quarter inch baseboard, crown molding. You got electrical outlets there in the floor. Nice 90 degree sliders here. They really open up to the uh, pool and the lanai area. Let's take a look at this. This is, this is nice. If you're entertaining guests out here, you can open it up, let this cool breeze blow through. Got pendant lighting over top of the bar. Granite countertop here. Here's the, uh, here's another little coffee station. It's got a wine cooler with granite countertops, sublay backsplash. You've got the big, looks like 48 inch uppers here with some crown molding. Go around here on the inside. Look at these uh, two tier cabinets on the uppers. It's pretty nice. They're also lit. 
So if you want to display some stuff up in the top, they've got the glass doors. You know, you're probably going to want to get a step stool or something in the, in the pantry so that you can, you know, get up and get in and out of those. Nice Whirlpool appliances here. You got a glass cooktop with a range hood, microwave. You got a farm sink here. And this is a big island. It's, a, it's really nice to have such a big island in your house. You take a look at these, this island cabinets. Let's see what they've got here for the drawers. Looks like you got some dovetail, dovetail drawers. Nice cabinets. Put the soft close hinges on them. All right, let's go over here and take a look. Here's a dining, dining area. More pendant lighting here on top. Over here in the living area, they've, they've got this electric fireplace down here, which is a nice feature. Very nice. This Tracy home is, is a well-built home. And, uh, the features they put on this home are really nice make this luxury home stand out in this neighborhood. Here's your den. Take a look, it's a pretty good sized den. All right, let's take a look at the den. So we come down through here. Got crown molding in the den, big windows here in the front, let a lot of light in. This home is, Set up, man. All right. All right, man, I'm excited to show you this outdoor area, the pool area. Let's take a look at this. Again, you got, you got your pavers in the back. It's a big fan, big fan. You got can lights. Hang your TV station up here. You got electric and cables are already ready to go. I don't even use cable anymore. We just stream YouTube. I think a lot of people are doing that. We've got a hose bib here on the pool area with a nice bronze collared aluminum pool enclosure. Looks like they opted to do the clear view upgrade on that, which eliminates your chair rails at 36 inches. Nice big bench here in the pool. Not sure if you can see the bench or not, but it goes all the way across the pool. And, you know, <clears throat> nice, nice coping matches the tile. Here's your little sun, sun deck area over here. Take, take a look at this outdoor entertaining area. This thing, this thing is nice. All right, let's go take a look at your dock. Now this home sits on the Carneva Canal. You're, you're probably about 45 minutes to the Mat Lache Pass. It's a nice little boat ride out. You take a look at all the upgrades and things your neighbors have done on their patio areas. Let's take a look at this. It's already set up for a nice wide big boat. You got, got your uh, composite decking here. Take a look down the canal. You got a captain's walk. 
which is nice. You'll be able to wash your boat from both sides and not have to reach and, and stretch as far. That's a nice upgrade. Looks like somebody caught your dock already here. <laughs> Anytime you see one of those sitting on your canal, <laughs> sitting on your piling right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but uh, they got you. They got you cut off here. All right, check out your neighbor's got his sportsman boat on the lift. <laughs> Gotta love that. Here's your neighborhood from the backyard. Look how, one thing I didn't bring your attention to, but I, I think you should, should note this is, look at the size of this yard in the back of this house. You know, you just don't see big yards like this on the back of your house. This is a unique feature this home has over others in Cape Coral. Let's take a look at this over here. There's a nice walkway, it's wide too. It's gotta be about four foot wide, which is nice. Back of this Tracy home. All right, let's take a look over here real quick. Let's see what kind of pool equipment this home has. There you go, it's got some, it's got a jandy pump. The Golf stream heater, they make those right in Punta Gorda, so you'll always be able to get parts for that. Here's the sub panel for back here, let's take a look at it. Plenty extra spots if you upgrade your lighting or something on your dock. Take a look outside here. All right, let's head back inside. Hey, don't forget, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And tell what you think about this luxury pool home. You can see yourself entertaining guests or throwing a party or barbecue here at this, you know, at, at this summer kitchen here on this one. Uh, just let me know in the comments what you think. All right, let's come inside here and take a look at the master bedroom. Tray ceiling in here. It's a nice size room. Plenty big, plenty big enough if you want to have a king size bed and some big furniture in here. Uh, what's nice is this door has French doors walking out to the lanai. We got double closets here. What looks like some wood shelving. May want to upgrade this to some build-ins if you wanted to give it just a little extra touch. And you got the other one over here. The pocket doors are nice, so you'll never have a problem getting in or out of your closets. You got an attic access here in this closet. And here is the owner's suite bathroom. <clears throat> Nice big soaking tub. Look at the size of that shower, man. This thing is huge. You got a waterfall head, another shower. You got tile going from the floor all the way up to the ceiling. Square, you got a square drain in your, in your shower. 
You don't see that very often. That's an upgrade. You got a niche over here. I don't know if you can see it or not. With the controls for, for both shower heads. And you've got a double vanity. One on this side. And one on this side. <clears throat> One thing I didn't bring to your attention that I think you should, should note is they have the six panel of Riverside doors here. That's an upgrade on most homes. And it's an upgrade on this one as well. You've got quartz countertops with rectangular sinks and you got plenty of, plenty of storage. You got drawers over on this side. And you got a couple of drawers with a lot of under storage. Got a little linen closet here. Yeah. There's your big guy giving you the tour. It's always nice to be able to shut the door and let somebody do something in there while somebody else is doing something out here. All right. Heading on down, we got two more bedrooms to go over and two more bathrooms. And I want to show you that three car garage in the front. So the, the spare bedrooms are nice sized rooms. They come with these upgraded knob and hinge doors instead of the uh, pocket sliders that you would sometimes see or the accordion, accordion room sliders that you'd see. This is another end suite with its own bathroom. It's got the glass shower door. It's got tile from floor to ceiling. Um, nice. Sometimes I find myself looking and not checking out the camera. So you guys got to bear with me on these tours. They're going to get better. I promise you. So take a look at this. And I really like this tile that's all the way through the house. Let me send it back around here and show you the, the tile floors. You know, these are all through the house. It's nice. Nice, nice and bright with the white walls and the white trim. Here's the third bathroom. This would be your pool bath. You've got a door right on the opposite side of the hall that goes out to the pool. Again, you got another niche here at the shower. Nice. All right, here is the third bedroom. If you've got some certain furniture that you need to make sure your room sizes are big enough, send me a message and let's talk about your next home purchase and you know we'll measure all the rooms and we'll make sure you get all the information that you need to make a good decision. All right, so three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a big open concept in the kitchen. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this laundry room and the countertop space and under cabinet storage. Look at that. If you'd love to have a laundry room with that, man, you may want to give me a call and let's book an appointment and get you get your feet on the ground here in this house. This home is offered at $1,225,000 and it's in a prestigious neighborhood, the Northwest neighborhood. Look at this pantry. Did I show you? I don't know if I showed you this pantry yet, but check it out. Tell me what you think in the comments below. All right, let's take a look at your garage. You got the epoxy floors, 50 gallon water heater out here side access panel garage door where you can take your trash cans out to the road and not have to open the garage door. It's nice. That's a nice size, nice and tall in here. One thing you'll notice on this garage, it's, it's a little deeper than a lot of other garages, but you really don't have a lot of space on the side. 
come back around here so you can take a look. It really looks like it's only about six to eight inches on the side of each garage door. So it's going to make it tight if you're planning on parking three cars in here. All right, guys, that's going to conclude our, our tour of this breathtaking luxury uh, Cape Coral waterfront pool home. Uh, I was excited to bring you this tour. It's a lot of nice features that this home builder did, this Tracy Homes builder. And, you know, I'd like to know what you think about, you know, not only the tour, but think about the house and the upgrades. Uh, specifically, I want to know your thoughts on that dock and the way it's built right by the other dock. You know, I think it's going to be hard to get a boat in and out of there on a windy day. But uh, just like we told you in the beginning, thanks for sticking out to the end. So if you need some tips or tricks of, you know, building your new construction pool home, you know, or you're looking for builder incentives or lender incentives and you're trying to get the cost of owning down, uh, send me a comment or send me a message and let's set up a consultation so we can get your plan started to get you in uh, your next luxury waterfront pool home. So again, thanks for watching. This concludes the episode. I'll see you guys at the next video.